All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the phone lines right now, and if you want to call in and give us your assessment on what the hell went on this evening, put the piece or put the call in number. There it is right there, all right? Call in number 667-770-1015, and then once the operator bitch starts talking, push in the code 844286. And when you do, you will be in queue to be a part of the call-in session of this very special edition of the coverage of the GOP 2024 debates and the analysis by yours truly. And I want to see what everybody else out there feels about it. What is everybody, what's everybody's take on it? Who's your candidate? Who you think won? Did you think that uh, Trump had anything coherent to say during that whole conversation with Cucker Carlson? Uh, let's go ahead and let's open up the phone lines. Uh, the engineer is not, not here tonight. He will be here tomorrow. Hopefully my voice pulls through tomorrow. Let's just put it that way. And let's go ahead and open up the call-in line here. Let's go ahead and do that. There are seven participants in the conference. All right, we've got... Shut it off! Republican! Shut it off! Shut it off! are muted. You see, look, this isn't going to last very long if this is what we're going to go through, folks. All right? I'm going to end the show really fast. This is not radio graffiti. This is not troll bullshit. All right? I'm not fucking around. This isn't some troll bullshit. I, I'm, I'm tired of you trolls. All right? I'm tired of you fucking trolls. So enough of the troll bullshit. I'm not kidding around, man. This is This is my last warning to you people. All right, we're going to go ahead and give us a call right now, 667-770-1015. And then once the operator bitch starts talking, push in the code 844-286. And you will be in queue to partake in today's uh, call-in session. So uh, let's go ahead and take a call here on what people thought about tonight's debate, what they thought about the counter-interview with Cucker Carlson and Donald Trump. Uh, let's go ahead and take some calls. How about 413? You're on the air. Uh, you know, I couldn't have said it any more articulately myself, sir. I think Chris Christie 2024 is the candidate, and I concur with that uh, very, very articulate uh, uh, statement that you just made there. All right. How about 504 radio? Oh, excuse me. You're on the air. Jesus Christ. So between Christie and Nikki, who do you think has better tits? Well, I don't know. How about your mom? Does she have some decent knockers? I see it's been Elliot. Does your mom have decent knockers? Uh, I don't know. A lot of my friends say she does. Oh, uh, yeah? So, I mean, the, 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 is it handful or more than a handful? Uh, I don't know. I don't normally stare at my mom's tics because I'm not a um, suffered incest fuckhead like you. I mean, you're, you're sounding a little tongue-heavy. Are you all right? You have a little speech impediment there, boy? I eat a lot of sunflower seeds, and I got stung by a bee. You ate a lot of sunflower seeds, and you got stung by a bee. So what the hell does that mean? Well, you, you eat a lot of sunflower seeds, you know what I'm saying? You, you, I like the cracked pepper spits. Kind of all like right, look, look. Do you have an opinion on tonight's debate, all right? So, like, fully seriously... I would say that, um, like, I, I do agree with you on a lot of the Chris Christie stuff. Uh, that Indian dude, I don't know, he seemed kind of, like, I did not agree with a lot of the stuff he was saying. He seemed, like, kind of, like, pathetic, like, definitely AI-generated, you know? And Ron DeSantis, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'd buy that you know? for a dollar. But, um, yeah, overall, Pick up 734. I, mean, I feel like Nikki definitely had the most moments. I mean, she's not the number one, in my opinion, but she had the most good moments, I think. What about you? Uh, well, at least you, uh, you know, came to some assessment and you didn't sound as tardy. All right. But uh, thank you for that assessment. All right. Uh, 734, you're on the air. I'm 
just a new boy. Stranger in this town. What? What the hell? Where are all the good times? Is that me? Who's gonna show this stranger around? Is that an AI me? I mean, it's a decent song. Pink Floyd. I need a dirty girl. With some woman in the desert land. Make me feel like a real man. I think I can sing better than that. All right, I, I, dude, I think I think I can sing better than that. All right, I'm telling you, AI, it's got, it, it needs some work. It needs a little work, in my opinion. How about two six seven? You're on the horn. You know what it is? I'm the funny one. You're just the rating one. Fuck all of you people, man. All right, fuck all of you people. All Nobody's right? gonna fuck anybody. Fuck them. You want them to fuck you, but nobody's gonna fuck you. Just use your glass pipe. Fucking assholes. That's why you got it. Fucking mm -hmm. piece because of shit. Because like a dick. You like to suck Don't a shut dick. Don't shut up your ass, dick. dude. Eat a dick. You want I can't to take you to suck these bitches, dick? man. You people are fucking... You just, you're just fucked up. What's the matter, girl? What's the matter, girl? <laughs> you know what? Baby just girl. Just oh, shut your goddamn yeah, pie hole, girl. all right? Wait, do you want us to buy you a new dress? <laughs> just sit there and shut your stupid, stinking, salmon-smelling hole. Yeah, uh, uh, I know what you want. You want a new pair of panties and a bra set. <laughs> what's your favorite color, baby girl? Baby girl, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite uh, color, baby girl? Uh, <laughs> what's your favorite color, baby girl? Black? Uh, uh, you want to get a black? We'll get you some black with some pink. <laughs> well, it was one of the black strippers, and I know that you know black lives matter and all that stuff, and I don't want to be deemed a racist. I know. So what did you do? What did you do since it matters? Did you get yourself a black girlfriend and give her some great life? Yes. You needed a white man with good credit. Are you that big white man with good credit? Can you sign away the backup? Yeah, I'm Jewish. What? Oh, you're a Jew with a big nose. All right. <laughs> Big nose Jew. All right. You know, I heard the other day somebody called you a banana nose. Do you have a banana nose? Israel is our greatest ally. Don't you understand that? I mean, oh, oh, yeah. all this talk well, about it. You know what? You know what? It's okay it that Israel is our greatest so ally. You I just trying to find out here, about that banana nose. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out about that <laughs> banana nose. If you really have a banana nose. You know it. I know You people are just anti semitic if you're a Jewish person, I'm asking a Jewish person to get the answer. You know, baby girl? You know what? You're a self-hating American. You know, baby girl. Kind of you know, baby girl. When they fucking do, what was that thing? We're supposed to circumcise you. You know how when they become a man, they say you become a man of the Jewish religion and stuff? You, I'm pretty sure they cut off a little more than you expected. That's why you're a baby girl now. I'm not Jewish. I use yarmulkes for coffee filters. You just... I know. Okay, dude, that's horrible. I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> or something? All yeah. right. See, so, look, uh, people are obviously making some kind of switchboard out of my voice, and they're calling people and doing prank calls and shit. Please stop doing that, all right? Please stop doing that shit. Uh, 734, you're on the horn. We've got pylons, greater graffiti. Come here, Chris Christie. Come here, big tits. Come here, big tits. Give me what the your fuck? sperm shake. I want Chris Christie. Fucking my big tits. Fuck my tits. You right. son of a bitch. <laughs> Woo! You fucking piece of shit, dude. You know, I do this fucking show and shit. I, I do this as a special, and this is how you fuckers treat me, you fuckers!
motherfucker! God damn fuck! Ah. Son of a bitch! You see, I shouldn't have opened up these phone lines, man. You see, we started off pretty well, right? We had people giving us their assessment on what the fuck they thought about, what they thought about the fucking debate, and all that shit. And look at this shit now, man. All right, look, I'm, gonna, I, I'm not going to let the bad apples, you know, ruin everything. All right, I'm not going to let that do that. But if we continue to have calls like this, I'm going to get the hell out of here. I, I don't deserve this shit. All right, I, I, I was out here assessing shit. You know, I was assessing what was going on with the with the GOP debate. I was given analysis. All right, with not only that, also with the damn Cucker Carlson Trump interview as well. So anyway, uh, let's see who who we got here. Let's continue. How about uh, uh, all right? Who is who is this? Uh, True capitalist confessions. You're on the horn. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your capitalist connoisseur, Ghost. Now, you might be wondering, why in the hell would I get myself a Doug Burgum body pillow? Well, let me tell you, it's all about the message, folks. First of all, let's get something straight. I ain't no damn weeaboo, and I sure as hell don't have any time for that anime nonsense. But Doug Burgum, he's a different breed altogether. He's a real businessman, a tech guru, and a leader who knows how to make things happen. Now, some folks might be waving those weight pillows around like they're the next big thing, but let me tell you, I've got a real reason for this. You see, I may not agree with everything that comes out of those tech companies, but I recognize the power of innovation and capitalism. Doug Burgum represents that spirit, that drive to succeed and create something that is. He's a doer, a creator, and I can respect that. It's about supporting someone who knows how to make it rain in the world of business, not some animated character from a foreign cartoon. So, while those weeaboos might be drooling over their body pillows, I'm standing tall with a Doug Burgum body pillow as a symbol of embracing true capitalism and innovation. It's a reminder that Success comes from hard work, ingenuity, and dedication, not from fantasizing about fictional characters. And that, my friends, is why this purchase ain't inconsistent with my stamp. All right, all right. Dude, that, that, that was a scuffed fucking audio. All right, obviously of me or an AI me of trying to endorse Bergdom, even though uh, there were some things that Bergdom said, but, man, when it came to uh, foreign policy and describing what he would do with China and shit, pure word salad pure word salad dude so uh, i don't know if you guys are going to still be standing with bergdom uh how about dick parsons you're on the horn i'm at point 2024 by the way c is for cookie that's good enough for me c What's is for cookie get good this guy up get him get you fucking cookie a monster a out of here get me. cookie oh, monster oh, the hell oh, out of oh, here oh. are you Jeez. fucking kidding me dude are you fucking kidding me how about, oh, someone serious, you're on the horn. Why, hello there. I have to say that the debates were actually interesting. Chris Christie made a lot of good points. But all I got to say is, Doug Burgum 2024! Burgum 2024! Oh, my God. I can tell that's fucking Ard Hammond, dude. I can tell that's fucking Ard Hammond. Uh, let's see. Who do we got here? How about 770? You're on the horn. Hey, Ghost. What's up, man? I was wondering... I was wondering, if you, I thought, uh, what is it, Ramaswamy? Okay, wrap it up. You've gone on long enough I with this rant. All the points, but you kept complaining about his foreign policy, so I'm wondering, like, what's what's wrong with his uh, foreign policy, at least in comparison to the other? You're talking about Vivek Ramaswamy because there was a dono. I didn't hear your first part. You were talking about Vivek Ramaswamy? I said, um, I said, uh... I'm wondering what's wrong with his foreign policy. Well, his foreign policy, his foreign policy wants to capitulate to Russia and China. And I don't think we should be capitulating. I mean, he's already said that we should just abandon ship and allow Russia to take over Crimea and eastern Ukraine and northeastern Ukraine and all that shit. I mean, and, and I mean, that's only going to embolden the Russians to continue going. And I think that's what Mar uh, Mike Pence was trying to call him out on. And, of course, Ramaswamy was trying to get louder with Mike Pence because he didn't want to be called out on that. And he was called out on it uh, with China because he feels that we shouldn't do shit with China. You know what I mean? We should be continuing to, you know, these imbalanced trade deals with China and suck China's schlong head. And he was called out by Nikki Haley on that. Uh, so that's my uh, biggest criticism on his foreign policy. I don't think he knows what foreign policy is. 
Well, I guess I get that. I bet you <laughs> think, you know, I'd buy like, that I don't really get it about your Ukraine conflict. I don't think we should uh, just leave Ukraine to us alone so at the same time. We're giving, like, way too much stuff to them, and we really should focus on America. You know, I saw when... Uh, Wait, Nick, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We are focusing on America. What are you talking about? I hate when people say we're focusing on America. What does America need right now that we're not getting? Well, we got people out in the streets. Our borders are, like, completely screwed, you know? <laughs> That's I mean, be, most of the problems. people that are on the streets are there because they want to be there, okay? They're there because they want to be there because they're drug addicts and they're fucking losers. Okay, go ahead. I'm just saying, we could divert more money towards America instead of uh, Ukraine. Uh, hey, by the way, have you ever seen anybody give away food at L.A. Skid Row? Have you ever, have you ever seen that done? Uh, luckily, I've never been in L.A. Yeah, well, go out there and go hand out food and see what happens to you. All right, go out there and help the homeless and see what happens to you. See how safe you'll feel. Uh, well, uh, I know it's not a safe place. <laughs> oh, you see, that, that's what I'm saying. You see, everybody is all... You see, this is what social media has done to individuals like this. Like, oh, we should help the homeless. There's there's no reason people are homeless. You want to know why people are homeless? Because they would rather um, do drugs and fulfill a degenerate life, which is very easy when, you know, you don't mind sleeping under a fucking bridge or, you know, sleeping in some tarp tent or some bullshit like that. I mean, you have no rent, right? You have no You have no responsibilities. And that's really the crux of most of the homeless problem. It's drug addict pieces of trash. And it's people that want have they have no responsibility. Now there's another component to the homeless, uh, which are veterans, unfortunately, and that is a whole other arena. I mean, I don't know what to do to solve that problem because the VA is there for any goddamn veteran that has any kind of problem. I mean, if you find trouble that you can't find a job, if you're, you know, an alcoholic or you know, I mean, I mean, the VA has programs that will actually go and, and help you. It's just that these folks don't want them. So, you know, I don't know what to do about folks that w don't want to participate in society and think that we owe them because they look pathetic and they're on the fucking street. I'm sorry. I don't feel sorry for these people. I don't feel so I feel sorry for the veterans with the post-traumatic stress. I don't feel sorry for the rest of the homeless. The rest of the homeless are fucking garbage pieces of, of spoiled brat shit that ran away from home because they wanted to be fucking drug addict slut bags. All right, so uh, I'm sorry. I mean, whenever I hear somebody say, oh, we got to take care of America, how the f what, what what does that mean? Dude, we have, the, we have the best safety net of any fucking country. All right? I mean, if you're poor right now, you can go and apply for a plethora of different programs that can pay for your housing that can pay for your food, that can pay for your schooling. I mean, all you have to do is apply to them, okay? No one's going to give you shit. Even if you want a bureaucracy to give you shit, you've got to apply for that shit. So, look, I'll be honest with you. Um, we had, uh, well, I don't know about now, but uh, during our peak, during the time in which we couldn't find fucking workers anywhere post-COVID, I mean, you had to give people fucking signing bonuses at McDonald's, for fuck's sake. I mean, I've never seen such a thing. I mean, the reason that people aren't going out and working, because they don't need to, because we have a great safety net. This is the greatest country on the planet. Uh, every time I hear that, oh, we need to help Americans here, help Americans do what? You're talking about homeless. Take a look at how many obese, morbidly obese homeless people we have on the streets. If you don't believe me, go to your nearest goddamn uh, impoverished part of town and go to the grocery store in the impoverished part of town and count how many fat, obese pieces of shit are waddling their asses up and down the goddamn grocery aisles, for fuck's sake. And you're going to tell me that, oh, we got to help people. Help them do what? All right, we help people all the fucking time. All right, you know what we've done? I think we've helped them too much. My grandma always said, 
Boy, don't feed the stray animals because they breed. And that's all we're doing if we're pussy pampering and coddling fucking people that, oh, I'm homeless. Oh, this. Oh, that. Oh, yeah? Or do you have a fucking drug problem? Uh, yeah, I actually have a little bit of a meth problem. Oh, yeah? So what are you doing about that? Ah, uh, nothing, because I love meth, okay? <laughs> I love meth. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. I mean, I hate to hear, oh, we got to do shit better for Americans. We're the most obese people on the planet next to Kuwait. And you, you just take a look at Art Hammond and you'll see why. I mean, we're the most obese fucking country on the planet. I mean, we, we are so ungrateful. All right. The United States people are so ungrateful and spoiled that now they're advocating for universal basic income. Income for just fucking living. Unfucking believable. All right. You're not going to, you're not, I'm not going to shed a tear for anybody that claims that, oh, we got to help America. Dude, um, that's all we've been doing. And you want to know why I'm so pissed off at this? Because every fucking year, I, I pay, all right? I pay the amount of money, actually more than the amount of money, every fucking year of like uh, almost a one percenter. I'm not even joking. I, I, I pay like above the median income of your average salary employee in taxes. And it's fucking horrible. It's fucking horrible to write that check to the IRS and knowing that all we're doing is pussy pampering and coddling a bunch of pieces of shit that just turn perfectly good food into shit. And the bad part about it is the shit that they take actually has more of a contribution to this society than they do because at least shit fertilizes the earth. So... I'd buy that for a dollar. Check the Trovo stream one mo gain plaza posted a dono message. PSBR Oli weed BR 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 Oli Thank you, thank you. And look, Ann in Philly is is literally uh, you know making it rain. And same with spent canister. We got some Trovo people that are out there making it rain with uh, whatever uh, Trovo currency that they're using. Uh, but Ann in Philly said, "Ghost, the Trovo emotes don't show up on stream for some reason." P.S. Broly weed. All right, so there it is. Uh, you know, Ann and Philly uh, holding it down over there in the Trovo stream. Uh, lots of folks on Trovo for some reason now. Uh, but cheers to Ann and Philly. Uh, but let's take a couple more calls. I didn't mean to get off on that soliloquy about the homeless, but I mean, America is is unbelievably generous to everybody. I mean, even if you're a fucking useless piece of shit. I mean, um, our American entitlement system, our safety net is the best, all right? And uh, unfortunately, it's not producing anything. It's just perpetuating the the you, the losery, I should say, losery, because they're losers and they're users. And that's what it perpetuates. You know, these investments that we're making into people, you know, keeping them clothed, housed, and fed, uh, you know, it's not... You know, you're not seeing it in the workforce. You're not seeing it in the skills. You know what I mean? So anyway, sorry. I mean, I mean, some people are probably getting a little upset. I'm sure there's a bunch of liberals out there like, oh, my God, did you hear what Ghost said? Hey, if you all you liberals that are pissed off about what I said about the homeless and the poor and shit in America, why don't you go take a look at 80 percent of the fucking world that lives on less than two dollars a day? How about that shit? Oh, I'm a fat fuck in America, and I deserve more. I I want my money. It's my money, and I want it now. I'm not even fucking kidding around. All right? 80% of the fucking world live on less than two bucks a day, and you pieces of shit are talking about goddamn universal basic income. For fuck's sake. Anyway, let me get to... Uh, hold on, I think somebody actually donated and wanted me to call on them here. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Serious Debater. You're on the horn. Well, hello there. All I gotta say is... I gotta ask Burgum! Burgum 2024! Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck off. For Christ's sake, Art Hammond! This is what I'm talking about! This is what I'm talking about! And uh, Roblox Ghost. You're on the horn. Guys, 
Well, what is your favorite? Huggy, Wuggy, Seek, Scary, Blue, What? Zumble, Bam, Bam, um, Nab, Nab. Um, I forgot his name, the Frog Dude, and um, yeah, Flofaline, Mamalina, Sting Dufferman, a pillow. You, you idiots are making me sound like a tard now, man. Come on, man. All right, dude, I'm going to have to end this in the next couple of minutes, dude. All right, I've already been on here for five hours. I didn't anticipate doing that, all right? So, you know, it is what it is. How about Helmet Boy? You're on the horn. Hey, Ghost, I'm going to be honest. I agree with you about Trump being a fucking pussy and not showing up to the debates. But, you know, I just got home, and I think I'm going to win the election. I'm going to be in the GOP. And you know why? Because... Cause I killed fucking I killed what's his name? Pre goes in with the lasers. You know, I killed him. I'm gonna go after Putin and when I become president, I'm gonna stick my two fingers in Nikki Haley's coochie. I'm gonna just twirl them around, pull them out, sniff them, and just go like Ugh. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Alright, I think I'm about done, dude. Seriously, I, I think I'm about done. I mean, I'm over here. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. You all hear me, for fuck's sake. My voice is going out, and I'm trying, man. I'm trying. And Ed in Philly continues to donate on Trovo. He said, shout-outs to the Hitman cause, Ghost Sorcerer, and Underdog. Oh, great. All right, look, uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm about, I think I'm about done with this. All right, let me take one more smoke here. I'll I'll take I'll take a couple of more calls and I got to get the hell out of here. I got to do a show tomorrow for heaven's sake. Hopefully I can wake up tomorrow and my voice, you know, I don't know, I can do something with it and we can do uh, you know, Thursday's True Capitalist Radio show, at least I hope. Jesus Christ. Let me take a smoke of tobacco. Once again, the strain of tobacco is prostitutes truffle butter. All right, so here it is. Cheers to all you folks out there. That's it. You gotta hold it in, let it hit the brain, baby. Hold it in, let it hit the brain. All right, let's take a couple more calls here. How about, oh, Jesus. I, I'm afraid to call. Gunter, you're on the horn. Uh, hello? Yeah, what's up? I on? Uh, first I want to uh, Roman salute. What? <laughs> I'm gonna give you a Roman salute. Pick up 470. You're gonna give me a I Roman have some salute. Why? To say about yeah. Christy. Oh, just for high. So, you, so you're you're you see Kyle? Is that what you're trying to say? You you see Kyle? Yeah. You see him? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Gunther. I appreciate it. And well, by the way, I love the uh, German accent. By the way, I think you're. You know, trying to sound a little bit more Hitler-esque. You know, a little slogan, schlagen, slogan. Uh, four seven zero. You're on the horn. Sneakiest chameleon, radio graffiti. <laughs> this is True Chairbreaker Radio. Give him a seat or give him the floor. Sit down and shut up. <laughs> and now, we will take it from here and do it to get this bad ass up. The man they call Red. Oh my god. <laughs> True chair breaker radio to disc Chris Christie, dude. Uh, get that shit out of here for fuck's sake, man. All right, I've had just about enough, dude. Seriously, I've had just about enough of this. I've been on here for like, what is this? Uh, you know, four hours or some shit. All right, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta move on. All right, no pun intended. All right, let me take a couple of smokes here. Maybe I'll take two more calls if I if I have a decent smoke going on. All right. Maybe, it, let me just take a couple of more smokes. I mean, I can't believe you guys are still hanging around here, man. It was, tr I was trying to make it a serious show, but no! And you see voice crack right there. My voice is going to be shot tomorrow because of you fucking people. And because of donation alerts as well. All right, give me a smoke. All right. All right. I've got to hold it and let it the brain. 
All right, a couple more callers. All right, we're not going to do. That. I think we got Ghosto Majima. You're on the horn. Uh, oh, she forgot to show my counter debate to Trump's counter debate where we were tagging women all night long in the bathhouse. Let me tell you, your wife was there and she called me Oppenheimer because I was coming in on her ass from a egregious angle. I tell you what, it was the best fucking time of my life and I can't wait for Willie 2024, baby. Woo! Jesus Christ! All right, dude. I, I I can't I can't keep going, dude. I, I I mean, come on, man. This was supposed to be a serious fucking show, believe it or not, dude. Jesus Christ! And hey, wait a minute. Uh, you know, people are still donating over here at the Trovo. All of a sudden, Trovo. <laughs> I'd buy that for. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, Trovo here. And hold on, we just got to buy me a coffee we uh, we have to hook up here. Let's go ahead and acknowledge that. I think it's Master Chief 461 who said, uh, Good morning. Wait, I just woke up. <laughs> and it's that for a dollar. And it's 5.40 a.m. My time, and you're still going? And you're on Radio Graffiti? Is this the ghost show? No, it, it was uh, coverage of the GOP debate, and I was taking calls. And now it's turned into somewhat of a circus sideshow there, Master Chief. Anyways, I hope you had a good show so far, and cheers. Well, thank you, Master Chief. I appreciate it, and good morning to you. Uh, cheers to you, man, all right? And uh, hold on. Somebody wants me to call on, on... All right, all right. Let's go ahead and call on this person, all right? That was it. Uh, let's see. Uh, serious Debates 2023. What You're on the horn. Uh, serious Debates 2023. What do we got? A, we got a Helen Keller deaf mute going on for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. All right. There's there's another one. Uh, maybe it was this one. Serious debates. Twenty twenty three going on. You're on the horn. I mean, dude, I mean, come on, man. This was supposed to be a serious show. And who the hell is this? Helmet Boy's more retarded brother. You're on the horn. Oh, shit. Sorry, ghost. Was it, is that me? Yeah, it's fucking you. Holy shit! Hey, it's Yakass. I was I was half asleep because you were boring the shit out of me and the entire goddamn audience, man. Oh yeah. How are you doing? Oh yeah. Well, I was boring you, huh? That's because you're a fucking tar, dude. I I talked to you in the Thunderdome, and you're cringe as fuck. I mean, it was great to see uh, West Coast capitalists yesterday kick your ass in the fucking Thunderdome. It was fucking <laughs> great. That was fucking ghost. That was classic. Hey, Ghost. Hey, I do want to take a sip with you, though, for real. Oh, oh, now you want to take a sip with me? You've been shit talking me the whole fucking night. I mean, you because you don't stop talking, man. We're trying to get to radio graffiti, and we're trying to like get shit going, and and you just you just don't shut up. You just don't stop talking, man. Like we're trying to get. I to was given analysis, you asshole. All right. You can keep telling yourself that. Anyway, you wanna you wanna take a sip with me, Ghost? No, no. And by the way, fuck you. All right, asshole. I'm glad West Coast capitalist kicked his ass in the Thunderdome, man. You should have heard. Him. You could kind of hear him. He's kind of a little bit of a tar. You know what I mean? He was fucking like like molding for God. Shut up, West Coast. Shut the fuck up. I'm not even kidding. And by the way, I'm not drinking tonight, so I'm not I'm not taking any sips. All right. I certainly would not have enjoyed myself tonight if I was to uh, be consuming any kind of alcoholic beverages while conducting this broadcast, all right? Uh, anyway, how about a couple of more? How about 911? Uh, you're on the horn. God damn it! Shut that shit up! Shut it off! Jesus Christ, man. And uh, now we got Winston Fujimori. I my mind. I now fully support for Helmet Boy slash Bergam 2024. He Helmet served Boy the American Bergam. government oh, and established a based meme caliphate. That's we will fresh. behead Putin and Xi Jinping. 
We will genocide all Democrats. Oh we will make God. anime viewing a requirement. Hey, we got Ann and Philly. I know you probably won't do it tonight, but can you play this vid before you leave? It's some chill synth music to smoke oh, some yeah. blowy weed to. Oh, yeah. Cheer ghost and all the viewers. HTTPS yeah, colon I'll, I'll slash slash www.youtube. I'll, I'll, I'll do it, Ann and Philly. I'd buy that. Okay, $5. I'll do it. Uh, hold on, I gotta take it. Uh, somebody just hooked it up with another call here. Hold on, what is this? Okay, uh, okay, now, now they want to be called on here. Okay, uh, Serious Debates 2023. You're on the horn. Woo! Let's do it, Ghost Boredom 2024! Come on, man, let's do it! Kill Hey, hey, you fucking piece of shit. Let's take a couple more calls. I, I, we got some people that have been waiting here. How about uh, 425? Uh, you're on the horn. Uh, is it me? Yeah, it's you, dude. Oh, right on, man. That's a fucking long-ass wait. What do you mean? She's just crashed, Grandpa. All right, well, fuck you. How about that? How about that? You waited for nothing because you're a stupid fucking fr fruity salmon little piece of shit. How about that shit? Uh, how about 731? Uh, you're on the horn. Hello. What's up? Uh. Whoa, I, I didn't know I was on this fucking horn. Holy shit. Hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, um, you know, I just heard the, the, uh, debate and all that. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm scared for the future of America right here. I don't know what the, what the hell to do. Well, my God. Well, stop fucking smoking whatever you're smoking, that's for sure. I mean, what, are you on something, sir? No. Uh, yeah, you, you definitely sound like you're inebriated on something. Um, I'm drinking beer, bro. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, you, I, could, I could smell it through the goddamn fiber-optically connected world that we call the Internet. <laughs> well, I'm a... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Alright. Uh, dude, he just fucking hung up. He just fucking hung up, for Christ's sake. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, that, that, that's that definitely sounded really Canadian, if you want my opinion. How about 915? You're on the horn. Yeah, fuck that. Tim Scott. No, no, no. We're not doing racism, you dumb piece of trash, all right? Uh, Helmet Boy 2024, you're on the horn. Helmet Boy 2024. True Capitalist Radio has been the ghost show since the very beginning. Here's some proof. Long Talk Radio. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first edition of the Go Show, the Go Show, the Go Show, the Go oh Show. Oh my God, come on! That was the first ever true conservative Republican radio broadcast that I ever did. And that is real audio. I, I, I completely forgot that I had said that it was the Go Show at the first episode of True... Uh, when I first started this whole shit. Where the hell did y'all find that anyway, for Christ's sake? Where the hell did you find that? All right, how about uh, GOP debate sign-off? Uh, you're on the horn. Oh, God damn it! Shut that shit up! All right, dude, I'm done. All right, I'm, I'm done. I'm fucking done. Stick a fucking fork at me! I'm fucking done. All right, get, get me the fuck out of here already, all right? Get out of here. Yeah, goodbye. All right, I'm done. All right, four and a half fucking hours that I've done this broadcast here. Four and a half hours, and this was supposed to be a serious show, for Christ's sake, all right? Now, unfortunately, the GOP debates were very underwhelming, very underwhelming, but the counter to those debates, the Cucker Carlson-Donald Trump interview, was even worse. <laughs> So GOP dollar. not looking very good right now. I'm just I'm just saying. All right, GOP not looking very good. If you want my personal opinion, uh, but the, luckily the Democrats aren't either. So you know, I mean, you know, does one outweigh the other? Who the hell knows? All right. Anyway, we got somebody with this diarrhea erection explosion bubble bath. Horrible name. 
Uh, hey, Ghost, was just wondering why you become such a neocon now. Hates the homeless and less fortunate. No wonder you love Krispy Kreme, Christy. Uh, here's a clip that highlights how boomers ruin America for everyone. It's only a few seconds. Cheers. It better be a few seconds, and it better be what you said, you dumb f-